I'm going to show you how this amazing hexagram of trig can be used for you to memorise 27 different formula in trig. So let's start by thinking of the six trig functions. There's sine, there's cos, there's tan, there's secant, cosecant, cotangent. We arrange them alphabetically around this diagram and put a one in the middle. There's the cosine, the cotangent, the cosecant, the secant. Now the last two have to be swapped. If it was alphabetical order, it would be sine followed by tan. We swap the last two. There's the one in the middle. Now the formulae that you're going to learn involve three of the elements in this diagram. And here's how we use the diagram. We can go across the diagram and the three elements that we use to find this one, we use the following two. We can go the opposite way to find this one. We use this one and this one. Or we can find the middle one using this and this. So in a way we're going both ways there. Or we can go round the circle. Can, to find this, we use this one and this one. We can go the opposite way, anti-clockwise. To find this, we use this and this. Or we can find one in the middle by using the two on either side. So let's see this in action by going across the diagram. The definition of cotangent is 1 divided by tan. The definition of cosecant is 1 divided by sine. The definition of secant is 1 divided by cosine. We can also have that the tan is 1 over cotan, the sine is 1 over cosecant, the cosine is 1 over secant. So there are six formulae that we can use. That uses this. Going the opposite way, we actually just get the same. I mean, if we went cosine is 1 over secant, secant is 1 over cosine. So this produces the same six formula. This produces slightly different ones. To get the middle one, uh, 1 is cosine times secant. The 1 is also the cotangent times the tan. 1 is also the cosecant times the sine. And 1 is also the secant times the cosecant, which you already had that one, because when you multiply the outer two, it doesn't matter which order. So let's have a look at all these formula. There's cotangent being 1 over tan and cosecant being 1 over sine theta and so on. Uh, and also there's 1 being cos theta times sec theta. So these nine formulae come from these three lines up here. Let's move on to going around the diagram. We can get tan being sine over cos. Tan theta is sine theta over cos theta. Sine is cos over cot. Cos is cot over cosec. Cot is cosec over sec. Cosec is sec over tan. Sec is tan over sine. And we're back. Six formulae. We can go anti-clockwise. Cos is sine over tan. Cot is cosine over sine. Cosec is cot over cos. Sec is cosec over cotan. Tan is sec over cosec. Sine is tan over sec. And we're back where we started. That's another 12 formula. Let's see them. There they all are there. So this second last line down here is going clockwise. This last line is going anticlockwise. And we've only one left. And that's this one, where we get the middle. Cosine, for instance, is sine times cot. Cotangent is cosine times cosecant. Cosec is cot times sec. Sec is cosec times tan. Tan is sec times sine. Sine is cos times tan. 
Let's have a look at these. There they all are. Another six formula. So the amazing hexagram of trig can produce all of these 27 formulae very easily. What I recommend you do is try and draw this diagram, put in the six functions in alphabetical order, remember to swap the last two with the one in the middle, and then just write out the formula. Use these six different ways of getting formula. You should end up with 27 formula. And you won't make mistakes. Not if your initial placing of the six trig functions is correct. So good luck for that. And enjoy using these 27 formula in your work.